Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, our storm has seriously started ramping up, and it is getting worse with impacts. We even get in a long line of storms that's going to pop up overnight, multiple nights, bring chances for tornadoes in the south, damaging winds and hail, big area for blizzards, and a big area still for a lot of snow. So I'm going to show you all the latest information. We will come back to this in a minute. Let me show you some warnings that we do have. Make sure you do subscribe. I do weather forecasting all year long. All I ask is to share this information to others. Help others see this information. Don't just hold it for yourself. Help spread the word of what is their possible threats. Just help out in general. Thank you so much for your help. Now let's get into your information. Now yesterday we did have some landslide reports for California and there was some places that had some snow. However, the story was in the northeast and they still have a lot of strong winds for this morning so there was a lot of heavy rainfall there was some freezing rain then the heavy snowfall so that two mixed together just caused a lot of power outages and right now looking at maine at almost 200,000 without power you got new york at 80,000 new hampshire at over 70,000 just a lot of people without power right now we also have the fire threat for today. We have the elevated in the orange and we have the critical in the red. Plus we have the discussion right here. So just be aware this is gonna be the strongest area for your fire threat for today. So here's your cities and your states at threat for today. And you can see all your threats for today. So you do have the wind advisories, but you also got the high wind warning. And this is going to stretch from what I can see. You also have the frost advisories and the freezing conditions going on for North Carolina. You got a big area for blizzard warnings. You got the winter storm warnings in the pink and the winter weather advisories in the purple. So for today, you do have chances for hail, even chances for larger hail in this 15% section for Kansas and Oklahoma. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat. You do have the wind threat as well in the same areas. I'm showing it's going to get stronger. Plus, you have your tornado threat for today. You got the 2% and the 5%. So here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. Also, I'd like to mention the latest NATO cast shows it could get stronger, more intense for Oklahoma and southern Kansas for your biggest tornado threat for today. Now, tomorrow for Monday, you have multiple areas, but you're still in the south for your tornado threat. You have the 2% and the 5%. So here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for Monday. Plus, you have the wind threat in the same areas. The hail threat is not going to be there for Monday in the south. It will be a little bit for the northern side. It will be tornadoes and hail as your main threats. And it does carry into Tuesday. Two areas of severe weather. You have 5% risk. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. Now, before we go to the radar and get a timing of these storms, you can see the damage and winds are very strong. And it does strengthen up even more for Monday. So you can see all the way to 9 o'clock tonight, it starts to pick up that 40, that 50, even pockets of 60 or more. That brown area is a 70. You do have the risk for up to 65 miles per hour damage and winds. Then once you go past 9 o'clock, you really brew up a lot of winds over here for Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota, even western Kansas. This is where you're getting some snow as well and you're getting some strong winds. But look how the winds carry towards Missouri, Iowa. Illinois and just grows for Monday starts getting that 50 that 60 even that 70 a lot stronger looking on the damage of winds for Monday be aware of that and showing the high elevations Appalachian also getting that 50 that 60 or more miles per hour wind gusts it's looking very strong for this region for Monday it could be upgraded and the snowfall because you're getting a good bit of snowfall all the way to Monday morning why are you getting those strong winds that's why you have the chances for the blizzards Look how it just grows for the north central. Still showing a big swath of healthy snow and showing it will bring somewhere over a foot so far for Nebraska, southeastern South Dakota, Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and the UP. That's where the heaviest snowfall is. Also for the higher elevations of Colorado and New Mexico. Everyone else is looking more like a five to seven. A good snowfall still coming with this that has not changed. So as we take a look and see what HRRR is suggesting, you can see as you go towards 11 o'clock this morning, remember this is central time, you start getting some heavy banding for Iowa, and that moves all the way to 3, almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon, then it finally moves into southern Minnesota going through Wisconsin, but then you start having some severe weather, I will go through that in a moment, but you see also it kicks in all this snowfall that turns out why you have all these strong winds all the way to 11 o'clock tonight still dropping good snowfall with that 
and the winds bring in all the blizzard conditions. But look how you're still getting snow. You still got these bannons going further and further to the north as you go through Minnesota, Wisconsin, the UP, all the way to 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning, hitting some of South Dakota as well. And look how it keeps raising up all the way to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, still getting it for northern Wisconsin, still getting it for the UP. But then you get some storms that's training right behind that as you go through for Monday night. So that is going to wash a lot of that away. At the same time, your storm. Now, in the south, you get some cells that pop up. And these cells are suggesting where you might be getting your chances for your tornadoes for today. So as you look towards 5 and 6 o'clock, you start getting some strong cells that pops up as you go through Kansas. Also over here for Oklahoma. Some strong cells that starts popping up while you're getting a lot of that strengthening low pressure. I did see it goes all the way down to a 970 something millibar. Very strong storm. And then as that goes north, then you get the linear storms come in for overnight. For Texas, going to Oklahoma, going from Kansas to Missouri. And look how you get a whole line of storms, bringing damaging winds behind that, straight line winds from Missouri all the way down towards Texas, even a little bit of southern Iowa as you go through tomorrow morning. As that keeps moving east, that is going to be all day long from Missouri for Arkansas for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning all the way until 6 and 7 o'clock tomorrow night. That is going to be a long line of storms. Watch out for the chances for flooding. And you see it is going all the way from Louisiana, Mississippi, all the way up towards Wisconsin. So it is a very high ridge coming with them storms. And then it goes in overnight for tomorrow night. And this is where it's going to go into Tuesday for the southern side. That's going to keep tracking to the east. So I will keep you updated on everything I do fine. This is a strong storm. Just be aware of that. All in all, it is a strong storm bringing good snowfall. It is bringing you chances for your tornado threat. And you do have it for tomorrow as well as that moves to the east. Just be aware of that. Well, everyone is going to be dealing with these damage and winds. I think the damage and winds and the heavy snowfall is going to be the main player of this storm as this comes through, especially for Monday. Monday shows that it will strengthen up even more. You see the bowing out in the storms, showing the damage and winds will be a little bit stronger. Hope you have a great day today. Make sure you're prepared for these storms. Get things out of your yard. That way you don't fly around. Check on your neighbors and check on your pets. Very important. Before I go, Isaiah 60, 1 and 2. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For, behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Amen. Remember, everybody, above all things that's ever done, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And only he can keep you safe through any storm in your life, not just the physical. I'm talking the literal. You have storms in your life. Only God can change them. So make sure you pray to him because he loves you. He cares for you. All glory goes to God now and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen.